the women are tired. They're tired of pretending. They're tired of lies. And quite frankly, it's seeming like the women are tired of the sisterhood. You all, I told y'all <laughs> a long time ago that this day would come. These times would surely surface and be upon us when women got tired of the narratives, when women got tired of women lying to them and feeding them illusions and delusions. I told y'all. And so now that times are getting a lot harder, amen. Now that women are getting a lot more older, amen. Everything is settling in. Winter is here. See, y'all thought it was a joke all this time, right? Winter is here. What are y'all talking about? It's hot girl. It's city girl. It's we doing it big. Living our best life. It, what y'all talking about the winter, girl? It's hot girl summer all year round, right? That was y'all. But winter is here. Y'all should have been stocking up, baby. You should have been on your best behavior, baby. Because now, I'm going to be honest, from the looks of it, it's seeming like the men are kind of checked out and done. And so you're going to be left to kind of have to fend for yourself uh, by yourself. You know what I'm saying? See, Y'all let these females hype y'all up way too much. And now that everything is, again, settling down and settling in, y'all can't take it. Now y'all are lashing out at the very women who set y'all up for this failure. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's break that down briefly, and then we're going to play this, this clip. Okay, and shout out to this uh, young woman right here that I'm getting ready to play because at least she's being honest. At least she is calling out the hypocrisy. Uh huh. At least she's being real enough to let y'all know that y'all have been playing us the whole entire time. Now, I told y'all that this moment would be upon us very soon because again winter is here and it's cold bitter lonely and now that you all have realized that yeah i need a man single life is really played up y'all really romanticize this now those very same women they hyped y'all up for failure. Y'all are turning on them. And I told those women when they were doing that, that this time would come. As a matter of fact, we, we touched base on this a few months back. But I think it's very important that we drive the point home again just to let y'all know that it's only going to get worse. While y'all were out here telling these women, oh, girl, you don't need no man. You can fit for yourself. You independent. You a boss. It's soft girl era. When y'all was out there doing it, I said, sis, let me tell you something. Because I can see the future, baby. I'm a little bit psychic. I'm that so Danica. Okay? Not that so Raven. I'm that so Danica. I be seeing stuff. And so I said, look, ladies, y'all might want to simmer down. Stop hyping these women up to fail because when that day comes, they're going to be looking at you like, hold on, sis. You told me that by this age, I would have this. And you told me that I was strong and independent and didn't need no man. And here I am struggling by myself. Hold on, sis. You told me not to get into a relationship, but here you are, booed up, married, settled down, Got your kids happily ever after? Sis, you told me everything that I know. 
And now that everything is settling in, you mean to tell me I can't have no peace? But I, I, I thought I would be living the soft girl life, though. Like, this is not peaceful. Hold on, sis, but you told me, I, you taught me that women, a man, hold on, you taught me, sis, that women only needed each other. We only need the sisterhood, right? But here you are going completely against everything that you ever told me and taught me and you're doing it for yourself and now you're set up nicely and i'm not see it's two different things and again i warned y'all about both like share comment and subscribe it's some real talking a little big sis they thought the men were playing no the men are not playing with y'all they out here begging and bitter and lonely turning on each other two things and then I promise y'all, I'm going to play this clip. On one hand, you have women that were teaching other women in the sisterhood, right, to be boss chicks, to be alone, not to want a man, not to want a family, not want any of it. You can handle it all on your own. And now that, again, they're having to be presented with let's say certain life challenges and they're stuck fending for themselves. Now they're pointing the, the finger and pointing the blame at those very women that taught them that they could be alone. They could be independent. They can be strong and by them, themselves. And they're like, hold on, since you taught me this and now we out here just struggling with you. That's one level and layer. See, I didn't realize that these women were looking for company. Why? Because misery, ma'am, loves company. Misery, ma'am, needs a friend. Otherwise, it gets very depressing and lonely. But if I can convince you that you should be in my same circumstances, in my same shoes, we can come together as one big happy sisterhood family and be miserable together. Now y'all are seeing the play and y'all like, what? hold on, sis. You, you set me up to, for failure just so you can have a friend? Yeah. Yeah. And did I mention that women are extremely catty and competitive? So... It's so many different levels and layers. That's We can even break it down into three, right? You got that going on. Then another level to that level, right, is the competitive nature. I not only want to set you females up for failure so that I can have a friend and I can have company, but also I can be doing better than you within our misery. So, yes. I'm just as bad as you, but you doing a little bit worse than me. And so I feel like I am the baddest chick because out of all the sisterhood of failures, uh, I'm doing kind of the best. Okay. And so now y'all are turning on each other for that. Those two reasons. Now the third level and layer. Okay. And again, y'all like the video, show the video and subscribe. We got to touch base on it. Y'all know it's some real talk. Okay, spread the news. I told y'all so. I told y'all this day would come. Amen. Y'all gonna long listen to me. Y'all gonna long and listen to me. Okay. I am that so Danica. Yes, yes, I am. But the third level is these chicks are realizing that, hold on, you have everything that you taught us and you told us not to have, which is why they're bringing up the likes of a Sierra or a Beyonce and so on and so forth. Because it's like, hold on, sis, what? You told us we didn't need it yet. You have it and you're thriving and I'm struggling. But I was trying to follow up behind you because I thought that you were the goat. I thought that you was a real woman. 
And so I follow your instructions and now I'm on the decline and you're on the come up and you're only on the come up because you did and you implemented everything that you taught me and you told me not to be, not to seek, not to do. Oh, hell no. So now we are left with the sisterhood crumbling, baby. Oh, yeah. The sisterhood is completely crumbling because they are realizing that winter is here and nobody is here to keep them warm. Nobody is here to feed them, pay a bill, nothing. Because like I said earlier, a lot of the men are checked out and done. So uh, what y'all going to do? Y'all thought it was a game when we were saying winter was here. Oh, good, please. Okay. Y'all see inflation. Y'all losing y'all jobs. Y'all losing y'all apartments. Like, it's getting real bad. A lot of y'all so broke, you got a roommate with five other chicks. Let's get into it. Again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I'm just keeping it real. That's all. Okay. Now let's check out this uh woman right here to where she's calling out the sisterhood because she has realized that they set her up for failure, right? And yeah, single life ain't what it's cracked up to be. Now they out here begging for a man, begging for love, begging for relationships, all because they want to follow up behind a real woman. Like the video. So that's why I feel like people are mad about Sierra because it's just like, bitch, you prayed for Russell. Yeah, you had your little single era after future. Okay, yeah. But while you were single, you were praying for him. You wasn't talking about some single ladies, get your money up, independent. No, you wanted a man, okay? So stop trying to tell me to be single when you got your Russell Wilson. I want to. I don't want to hear no single music from Sierra or Beyonce no fucking more, okay? You know what I want to hear from them? I want to hear about how great their marriages are. I want to hear about the vacations they're going on. I want to hear about the life they're creating for themselves. From Sierra, I want to hear about how Russell took her kid under his wing, a kid that wasn't even his, bitch. It, it, it's his kid now. That's what I want to hear about from Sierra. I don't want to hear no independent shit from you, bitch. Because oh. when you was single, you wanted a man. She just went off. Do you understand me? She went completely off. She was like, hold on now. Enough is enough. All oh, this capping and yapping. Come on now. I see what's happening. Y'all played us. Let's take it to the top. Hold on. Play it again. I, I need y'all to really hear what she said. So that's why I feel like people are mad about Sierra because it's just like, bitch, you pray for Russell. Yeah, you had your little single era after future. Okay, yeah. But while you were single, you were praying for him. Oh, let's, let's break that down. Okay? Because all of these chicks out here will lie and pretend. Oh, yeah, girl, I'm happy. I don't need no man. I'm living my best life. I'm turned up. F these ninjas. They ain't about nothing for real. I can get my own. And then what did I always tell y'all? Behind the scenes, it's a completely different story. Behind the scenes, they praying. <laughs> I'm tired. Can you just please send me my king? Send me my prince charming. Send, send me my high value, man. Please help me. Behind the scenes, you know, they get lit. Okay, y'all know what that is. Y'all watch out for YouTube. They get lit. Drinks galore. And the feelings just start flowing and pouring out. More than the liquor. Okay? More than the liquor. And then what they be saying. Oh, girl, I just wish these men would act right because I'm just tired. Like, it, it, it gets too lonely out here. Like, girl, I just be want somebody. I've been telling y'all this. So, yeah, she's absolutely right. When she says that, you know, Sierra, she had her little hot girl era. And she was turned up, you know what I mean, and doing all of that. Behind the scenes, though, Sierra, you were secretly praying for a man. You wanted a man, though. See, you were feeding us fairy tales and illusions and delusions and lies. You know what I mean? But, lo and behold, you really desired 
to have that commitment. You really desire to be in a relationship. So were you fronting? Were you pretending? Because I see through it now. Yeah, you acted like you were good being single, but behind the scenes, you were praying for a man. While you were promoting the single life and you was living your best single life, you were secretly wanting and praying for a man to come into your life and save you. And unfortunately, for a lot of y'all chicks out there, you won't have a Russell Wilson. Hell, a lot of y'all won't even have a Smokey. Uh-uh, ain't nobody coming to save and rescue y'all. I don't know what y'all gonna do. You wasn't talking about some single ladies, get your money up, independent. No, you wanted a man, okay? So stop trying to tell me to be single when you got your Russell Wilson. I want to. I don't want to hear no single music from Sierra or Beyonce no fucking more, okay? You know what I want to hear from them? I want to hear about how great their marriages are. I want to hear about the vacations they're going on. I want to hear about the life they're creating for themselves. From Sierra, I want to hear about how Russell took her kid under his wing, a kid that wasn't even his, bitch. It, it, it's his kid now. That's what I want to hear about from Sierra. I don't want to hear no independent shit from you, bitch. Because when you was single, you wanted a man. Whoopsie. That right there was just the finisher. That was the finisher. And you know what, y'all? We're not even going to draw this uh, dope discussion out. I just want to let y'all know that this is what we're dealing with right now. Men are checked out and done. So all of y'all that got set up for the okie doke y'all are just asked out i'm sorry those times of you wasting men's time and then saving them for later and then coming back later and then having your husband those times are done honey baby done you're not gonna be like sierra you're not gonna be like beyonce you're not no that is done once a hot girl, city girl, always a hot girl, city girl. Men ain't marrying those type. They don't trust you. You're a bad look. So all of y'all females that got played by these women hyping y'all heads up, telling you to be strong and independent and single, they set y'all up for the ultimate failure because guess what? Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to help you. Nobody's coming to take you seriously. You chose the wrong path. I'm sorry. And, and I know that can be so heartbreaking. That can be so earth shattering and all of that. But it's the truth. A lot of us have made our beds by listening to the sisterhood and all of these females that didn't know what the hell they were talking about. And now you're just stuck. This is a new day and age. This is a new time. Men, they're just not, we're not dealing with the same breed of men. Men are checked out. Men are done with that. They're not coming to save you and rescue you from yourself. No. Men are not even in friend zones anymore. It's that bad. And we're going to talk about that dope discussion coming up soon. So y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted for when we do our uploads or our dope discussions live. Because we're going to dive into it and we're going to get into it and we're going to break it down and peep the game like we always do even y'all friend zones are dried up it's it's gotten so bad now that men are placing women into the friend zone again y'all we're going to get into that later on but yeah if y'all chose to be a hot girl and a city girl and let these females play on your head top by preaching to you a certain narrative and you chose that path, good luck to you. Because a lot of y'all just going to have to lay in that bed, sleep in that bed, make that bed. You know, it's, it's just nothing. It, it, I'm sorry. I, I hate to sound so doomy and gloomy, but that's what it is. Y'all let these chicks play y'all. And when it came to women like me that were telling y'all the truth, that were giving you the game for the free at that, y'all condemned me. I was a pick me. I was male identified. I was all of 
these negative connotations and words and terms. I was all of it. And now y'all are upset. Now y'all are sitting here, point the blame at each other. And honestly, it's all of y'all damn fault. You should have known better, especially because a lot of y'all are older. Y'all think y'all will be the exception and then you're not. Anyway, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And remember ladies, it's a new breed of men and they're not playing with y'all. They're not saving y'all. A lot of y'all have just got to live with your decisions and hope for the best. Peace.